When I was in high school, my classmates voted me most likely to devote my life to a lost cause. I took it as a compliment. But the thing about lost causes is that they're only lost if you leave them behind. If you stay in there, if you keep hoping in action, if not in feeling, if you listen to how circumstances are shaping your calling, you may discover they are not lost after all. You may discover they are the most beautiful, extravagant examples of abundance in your life. You may start keeping your eyes open to causes that seem the most lost of all. My story of co-founding an organization to address the HIV AIDS and water crises in Africa is not really mine. It is more a story about forming relationships in villages, tour buses, and living rooms with people who act every day, trying to make a better life for others. They have names and faces and families who love them fiercely. They have that same passion for change that began in me as a child. My dreams, like theirs, have matured in the dust of dry African summers when rain didn't come, in the deceit of broken relationships and lost money, in the rhythm of children dancing.